Well, February is National Heart Month, and today we bring awareness to cardiovascular disease in women with the Go Red for Women campaign, and that's why we're wearing red this morning. Cardiovascular disease is the number one killer of American women. More women than men die of heart disease every year. Joining us now is WNCN's medical expert and cardiologist, Dr. Kevin Campbell. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you know this is something that hits home for me. My mother has five siblings. Two of them passed away in the last five months from heart disease, So, and one had triple bypass. So it's something that really hits home. Expand on how serious of a disease this is. So, uh, traditionally, heart disease is thought of as a disease of men, and it's just not true. Right. More women than men die every year, and women actually present with more advanced disease, more complex disease, and often present later in life mm -hmm. with heart disease. And women think, for the most part, that they're going to die of breast cancer or uterine cancer or something of that sort, and actually, heart disease kill kills more women than all types of cancer mm. combined. Isn't that something? Tell us some of the symptoms that women have, and, and is it much different from what men see? And that's the difficult thing. Women can have traditional symptoms, mm -hmm. chest pain, shortness of breath, radiation of pain to the neck and jaw, but often they may feel tired, they may feel anxious, they may feel fatigued, they may feel flu-like symptoms, really nonspecific. Mm -hmm. So it can be difficult to tease that out. Okay, and how about treatments? Is it the same for men and women? We should treat men and women exactly the same. Okay. Unfortunately, men are treated more aggressively than women. Men tend to get revascularized, meaning have heart catheterizations at a higher rate than women, although women tend to have more complications hmm. with these advanced procedures. Okay, and how can we address these problems? Exactly the things that we're doing today. Okay. Wear red, draw awareness to heart disease. The wonderful event that you're doing tonight mm -hmm. is something that I think allows us all to see that women die of heart disease. Um, I'm actually writing a book that's going to be right. published this year um, on closing the gap, ways that we as a community together can reduce heart disease death mm. in women. Definitely look forward to reading that. And are we making leaps and bounds in this? I know you're just bringing awareness by Go Red today. Is Are we seeing big uh, changes? In bringing we awareness actually about? are. We're doing a really good job. Okay. Got a long ways to go. This yes. is the 10th year of the Go Red campaign. And we have made enormous progress. More women have stopped smoking. More women have started with diet and exercise. More women actually believe that mm -hmm. heart disease can hurt them. Mm -hmm. And that's the first step, is awareness yeah. and then taking action. So we want to empower women yeah, like yourself exactly. to take action to prevent disease. Well, Dr. Campbell, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. And later in the newscast around 6.45, I'll introduce you to a heart disease survivor who died but is alive today to tell her story. Also, if you're interested tonight, as you mentioned, I'm emceeing Pretty Party in Red at the Briar Creek Country Club. The event will feature house screenings and massages. Also, how to eat healthier. It starts at 5.30. Also, do you have a medical question for Dr. Campbell? Ask him. It's so easy. Just log onto our website to WNCN.com. Search links we mentioned. From there, you can find Dr. Campbell's website or you can like his Facebook page and Twitter. Bill.